<sighs> I hope this was recording. He's patting his armpits down. I'm sweating. I'm so nervous. And I don't sweat. Today's the day that we tell my dad, um, I don't know if I should make it into a joke because that's just my defense mechanism. Hmm. I don't know about that. Or should I let him down easily and you come in it? I think that, okay, this is what I personally think. Sir, <laughs> I've been with your daughter for- Oh years. God, we're not doing that. Cause I can't, that's, cr that's so cringe to me. I'm just like, oh, I don't want to hear that. I love her very dearly. Oh, I don't want to do it I like that. I can't picture myself with anyone else in this life. <laughs> Maybe you should just tell him then. Should you just tell him? I'm so nervous. It's okay. <laughs>《ケイ、君に聞いてくれたら、私は何かを見つけたことがあります。私は何かを見つけたことがあります。私は何かを見つけたことがあります。私は何かを見つけたことがあります。私は何かを見つけたことがあります。私は何かを見つけたことがあります。We were all just kind of getting nervous. My dad still doesn't know, and I'm stuck here. I'm trying to get him to fly out, but I don't want him to fly out because of everything going on. We were all trying to figure out how we'd fly my dad out here so we can tell him in person. Um, but obviously, Corona hit, and we decided that maybe we should wait a little bit longer. Oh, look who decides to pick up my phone call. I just checked the scale, and I honestly have gained 15 pounds. 15 pounds? Yeah, look. I'm just... I was gonna say, you look thicker, bro. <laughs> but by the time we decided to finally tell my brother, his reaction wasn't what I expected. I don't know like, if it's from eating too much bread, or maybe <laughs> another reason that I'm a little plump. What? <laughs> yes, uh, there's a babies in my bellies. Wow. <laughs> you guys plan this? No, not really. And that is crazy. I realized by his reaction that we may have waited a little too long. I mean, if he reacted like that, I can only imagine how my dad would react. We wanted to obviously talk to you and her dad, but we can't come there, so that's... Oh, man. Good luck with that. Luckily, my brother and my mom were going to help us out to figure out a way to tell my dad. So they literally brought dad, him in one room. Are you talking about when we told your dad? Yes. When we fa and we Guys, had to FaceTime him. Scariest moment of my life. Um, so I'm really excited to tell you something, but um, I wanted you to be here. But obviously with the coronavirus, we couldn't bring you here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I know. <sighs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> so, me and Matt are having a baby. <laughs> what? Me and Matt are having a baby. What kind of surprise is that? But well, I don't know. I want to tell you and I don't know how else to tell you, so. When we FaceTimed him, he thought we were gonna tell him that we were. he proposed. Yeah, he but. was definitely set on like, oh, okay, what do you, he was like, giggling like oh what do you guys have to tell us and i'm on the opposite side of the camera like oh my god you have babies before you married i don't understand that but and he yeah. matt you always say he's a religion guy or... he is but yeah. stuff happens <laughs> we can get married after oh god in that moment i was terrified he's just really traditional i mean he's a middle eastern dad i don't know if anyone understands what it's like. He was super strict on me growing up. I was his only little girl, so he had a plan for me and he wanted me to get married and have kids and do it, you know, the traditional way. So I just, I didn't know how he was gonna react. I love your daughter very much, okay? We've been, we, we've been together for almost three years now. We live together. I, I do see myself with your daughter the rest of my life, and I want to be with her, I want to provide for her, I want to protect her, I want to take care of her. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry, I'm not agree with what you talk about. Say, say something different, man. I think, I think if I need a time out, I what's going on? You know that, right? Time out. His new normal 
of us having a baby before we're getting married isn't a bad thing. It's not like he sees us in a relationship that's failing. If he didn't know that, there wouldn't have been a smile on his face when you told him that. Yeah. He was excited. He, he just was is so it. traditional. Yeah, he was hiding it. He's because, like, this doesn't isn't right. Yeah, this isn't right. Like, what is right? I think he's just super protective of me. And um, telling him that I'm pregnant, I mean, obviously he would be super excited at some point. I knew that. He wasn't going to like disown me or anything. So I just, I knew there was gonna be a happy moment and I just had to get over the initial shock. Oh my God, it's hot. It's getting hot just thinking about it. <laughs> this pregnancy is right now for us. This is not for him. This is not for your mom. This is not for your brother. This is for me and you. So when he comes here, that baby's still gonna be in your belly. And it's gonna be even more special because it's gonna be bigger. Like right now, if he was here, it's like, oh, you know, like it's a little bump, it's exciting. But like when he actually is able to come here, you're gonna be full blown pregnant. And it's gonna be the most magical time. He's gonna give you a hug and it's gonna be awkward because both of your bellies are gonna bump together. <laughs> You know what I mean? I'm so thankful that I had Matt there with me to just reassure me and make me feel better about the whole situation. I mean, I knew my dad would be happy at some point. I think he just needed to get over the initial shock and realization that his plan for me was kind of getting rewritten. And I feel like the only thing he could do is just join us for the ride. It's finished. It's finished. Um, I'm so happy. I'm so happy you don't believe it. You well, know, I'm happy God, you finally know. I, I love you and I, I trust you. That's why you do what you have to do. Okay. It's not my husband. It's, uh, I'm not married to him. <laughs> I was so happy to have that day over with. All we had to do was fly them out here, have my parents be part of the gender reveal, and also the baby shower, which. I cannot wait for you guys to see. I'm five and a half months pregnant. I think I'm finally showing. <laughs> I mean, I was, I'm showing and I can't hide it. So all my outfits have been loose um, so that no one notices I'm pregnant. I just told my dad last week. So now I feel much better about telling people. Around the halfway point of my pregnancy, that's when things started getting a little more tough. Physically. When she goes to get up out of bed, she's like, "Ooh, <laughs> it's pretty funny." From this angle, you I just can't get like, up without using my hands and going on my side, because then it gives me a cramp. I can only imagine if when I'm 20 more, I'm 20 weeks now. The camera's just focusing on your belly. It won't even focus on your face. I'm 20 weeks and I can't get up. I can only imagine. Oh, oh, show us how you get up. <sighs> I gotta use my whole body force and my hands. I was used to being super active and um, I just couldn't. I started getting more tired. Look here, she's just a sick little dog. I mean, I was sleeping more. I started eating a lot more. I was eating for two. She has some major cravings right now. She's in the kitchen cooking. We just went to Ralph's and grabbed like a bunch of groceries. She's cooking Rice Krispie treats. Hey mama, what are you doing in here? Oh my God, I feel good. And I may have been getting more irritable. I'd like to think it was definitely the hormones. Stop fucking dropping your peanut butter pretzel sticks on the ground. Look at this. It's like I'm being an eight year old that's eat, trying to eat. Oh, I can't even bend over anymore. Baby, come on. <laughs> no, I can't bend forward anymore, it hurts. I feel like my frustrations and the reasons of why I was irritable was because obviously I wasn't sleeping. He's still sleeping. The baby is not letting me sleep. But then also I was dealing with these pregnancy side effects, which was like cramps and acid reflux, which I've never had to deal with before. I just can't lie down and sleep because then I feel like Growing up. But also, no jokes aside, it was because I just was worried about my career. I know you're I see you sleep. It's just like 
I want to keep working because I want to be able to support my family and just with this whole corona thing that was unexpected it's like when am I really gonna work again and like book another film or or you know like book a commercial or book something like that everything is so focused on digital now I spent so much time and energy and effort into transitioning my career into doing more film and TV and I finally started getting the ball rolling and then Corona happened and now with this pregnancy Not getting any bigger I was just so worried that I wouldn't be able to do the things I used to with all my projects kind of being put on hold I mean film and TV was gonna be non-existent because nothing can be filmed obviously during a pandemic. I had to figure out ways to still make money and support the family. It is May and there's still this Corona stuff, but we're still working here. <laughs> we have our Lysol, our mask and our gloves and we sprayed up and now we're about to record some music. Hopefully we get this thing done this month. Well, we have to. That's why I recorded more music. I made TikTok videos. <laughs> TikTok's taking over quarantine. <laughs> it is, I would never do this if I was in quarantine. Today we are in Hollywood Hills looking at a $20 million mega mansion. I shot shows for my IGTV. Welcome to another episode of Rookie Cup. We're making cabbage rolls. Yeah. Matt and I created our own comedy series called Trish and Scott for my YouTube channel. Why would I have Xanax? Does it look like I take Xanax? Relax, man, you're so tense. I'm just playing with you. <laughs> We've been quarantining, so I thought me and Matt can just create something. Anyway, oh, I- Feels so good to stretch. Okay, oh, I'm man. gonna go. And I will be here all night if you need me. I just don't feel like stopping, you know? I want to keep working because it keeps me going because I feel like if I don't work, I'm going to be sleeping and watching TV all day and there's only so many Netflix shows you can watch in a day. Mosquito. In April, my brother and I decided that we were gonna launch our clothing line called Vices. It was supposed to launch with Coachella, but obviously Coachella got canceled this year due to the virus. So we decided to launch anyways, give away free face masks and also have them available for purchase. So I was gonna get someone to do this for me and dye all these masks, but decided because there's so much downtown right now. I would just do it myself. And then we also partnered with my favorite charity, International Medical Corp. They were doing such a great job responding to the pandemic and we thought that we would donate some of our proceeds to a great cause. Sending our first shipment of masks out. It's 12 a.m. Like everyone else in 2020, I had to hustle. That's a business woman, keep doing your business. Because I knew that the next months that were coming up were gonna be write-offs <laughs> due to my pregnancy. Um, I knew that I was just gonna be getting bigger and bigger and there was only a matter of time until I um, couldn't do much. <sighs> I'm out of breath. It's so much harder recording vocals. Pregnant. Film and TV will always be my main passion and my main goal. Basically, I'm gonna shoot the self tape, not showing my stomach. But at this point, I feel like it was all about creating my own opportunities and projects. Um, maybe just put like rehearsals. Pregnant business calls. Kidding it. I knew I had a lot to figure out once the baby was born. Next month, we're gonna do an ultrasound. The husbands are definitely allowed in the delivery room. Oh, really? If you go online, they have some birthing classes. Yikes. I don't know if I wanna do that. But that's what women do. We figure it out. <laughs> 